Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching The Goonies. What do you know about this movie? Uh, I think it's like a kid's adventure film. Yeah, I think there's probably a few more things that I know. Um, I know something like The Truffle Shuffle, I think. I've heard of that. I think that's from reference by Family Guy, which is like how I know most of my like pop culture stuff. <laughs> And I think it has a pretty uh, great cast, but as children or like teenagers. Okay, so a little bit like Stand By Me. Yeah, exactly. So I think um, at least Sean Astin, I think that's his name, Sam from Lord of the Rings. Okay. And Josh Brolin, I believe. Okay. I don't know if I, oh no, um, the guy from Everything Everywhere All at Once, I think his name is Kihi Kwan, Kihi Kwan. Something like that. Sorry for butchering that. I'm for sure butchering it, but I think he's uh, one of the kid actors in this as well. Okay. And then we, so we just saw him on the channel pretty recently. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, an adventure with some kids who turn out to be some pretty top actors. Yeah. So really looking forward to it, so. Me too. And I think this is like an 80s, like classic. Like I think a lot of people grew up with this from what we were seeing in comments. This was a little bit before us. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit before us, but it's a good opportunity to uh, see what we've been missing out on and yeah. kind of like join the rest of the world who has seen this movie. <laughs> but I'm really excited. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. What does it say? To who it may concern. This is intense for a kid's movie. You really think it'd be stupid enough to kill me? Kill myself. Oh. Wow. What an intense escape plan. Wait. Is that Joey Pants? Yeah. Joey Pants strikes again. Oh. Yeah, get out of the street. Oh, an, an inventor. Wow. <laughs> what the hell are we doing here? I trusted your old mother boy. Okay. Oh, uh, gonna blend in. Wow. They're winning. <laughs> They're standing out. Adopted wuss. It's so weird to see him so young. I know. Hey, you guys, you gotta let me in. Jerk alert. No way. It's Chunk. Chunk? First, you gotta do the truffle shuffle. Come on. There we go. I heard of that. It's like a dance? I think so. <laughs> Is he mouth or mouse? No idea. Jeez, this is elaborate. <laughs> Look at that. It's the most amazing thing I ever saw. More amazing than the time Michael Jackson came over to your house to use the bathroom. Uh oh. Prepare for the wings of flight. Man. <laughs> I bet you guys thought I was gonna drop it, huh? Think that from good old Tom? Oh. Chunk. It's not oh. broken. It's perfect, huh? Uh. His penis broke off? <laughs> oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hi, hi, hi. It's a lady that almost got hit. Yeah. Rosalita's gonna help us with the packing just until my arm is better. I'd be glad to communicate with Rosalita. You're a lifesaver, Clark. There's no way. La moto va nene primer ka. Des va nene segundo. La heroine nene de abajo. I mean, it was great Spanish, just... Where did he learn his Spanish? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Clark, we've got much more to do. You're so fluent in <laughs> Poor lady. What is that? That is a mess. I want to clean... Oh. Sure, yeah. One hour, kids, and I'll be back. Bye, baby. Bye, Adios, senorita. <laughs> What's your dad gonna do with all that stuff that's in the attic? He's gonna give it back to the museum. Baby, oh. there's some rich stuff! Rich no, stuff. Rich rich stuff. 
Sounds like they're all in, except for Mikey. You guys listen to me, damn it! That's his stuff. So he's a museum curator. Yeah. Oh. It is a lot of pirate stuff. What? <laughs> oh. They did a show. It was a retro pack -em. And it was about... That's what I said. Can't say any words right. Kind of like us, Mike. The Goonies. Yeah, I'm not a reject. So Goonies is their name? Yeah. Chunk! Hold this. Why me, Mike? Because you'll break it? He's got this big thing. <laughs> that says 1632. What's all that Mike. Spanish junk right there? Mouth no Spanish? See, one-eyed Willie stole treasure once, and then he loaded it all up onto his ship, sailed away into the sunset. Willie's ship, the Inferno. Inferno? And he got caved in, and he's been there ever since. Trapped. Wow. Is this our adventure? Chester Copperpot. I have the key to one-eyed Willie. Seems like their dad had a bunch of information. Surprised the dad didn't find this. Attic when it could be in some safety deposit box somewhere, right? Well, it was in a museum. Mr. Copperpot didn't find it. How would we find it? Just what if? Then we wouldn't have to leave the Goondocks. Okay. They need the money. Is your mommy here? She's out at the market buying pampers for all us kids. <laughs> so you can give these papers to your father to uh, read through and sign. What are they doing to his dad? I think they're just like tearing down the town. When they wreck our house, I hope they make it a sand trap. And never get their balls out. Come on, before you catch a real cold. I like the brother relationship. Yeah. Usually it's like a shitty older brother, like he's always bullying him or something. I mean, he's still bullying him, but he's clearly a good brother. If we don't do something now, there's going to be a golf course right where we're standing. That's a good shot. Is this our elaborate plan? Oh! Dang! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna hit you so hard when you wake up, your clothes are gonna be out of stock. That's a pretty great escape. What's wrong with you, people? Rosalita, come here. <laughs> Rosalita, wait, 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 wait. Poor Rosalita. She's like, I am not getting involved. <laughs> Hi, Mikey. Oh, that's her dad. I thought it was gonna be like this big mystery before we finally saw him. Yeah, historical museum. Does he even know where they're going? Oh yeah, he doesn't have the map. No. Oh, damn. That's it, guys. That was easy. Oh no, hopefully this isn't his date. Watch that mirror again, I swear to God I'm gonna smack you in the face. Oh, like the bike. Dang. Can we give you a ride somewhere? Let us give you a little ride. Hey. Hold on. on. Really? Oh my God! Dang. Did he just die? <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking up Josh Brolin. I think I have a match. I'm sure of it. The red stuff is near the restaurant. This was very fast. <laughs> How could no one else figure this out? Maybe no one else in this town knows Spanish. Rosalita does. <laughs> yeah. She's probably going to come in clutch. There's nothing to be scared of. See, there's already two customers who went inside the restaurant. What if they're drug dealers? <laughs> drug dealers? Shit. <laughs> we're looking for, like, caves. Does that sound like gunshot? Oh, shit. I totally forgot about the criminals from the beginning of the movie. Somebody probably dropped the pot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was the truck there? Uh, are you sure, Mikey? Uh, yeah. I didn't see it. Shut up. I'm surprised they didn't hear freaking Chunk, Chunk, whatever his name is. What's that? Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Oh, yeah. It is them, right? Yeah. What are you doing, man? Oh, there's the car filled with bullet holes. Holes. You saw this earlier. This place is a summer restaurant. Oh no. Lots of water. Is that all? Yeah. No. <laughs> I want the Villa Scalapin. <laughs> and then to one. How many languages does he know? What 
is her plan here? <laughs> Maybe to just kill them. Bullet hole the size of my Here's your water. Oh, don't drink that. Miss, where's the men's room, please? Can't you hold it? No. Couple of dead things, Mikey. Dead things. Couple of dead bodies. Stay to the right! I know it's to the right, thank you. I know you're down here when I leave. Oh man, I thought he really had to use the bathroom. <laughs> What was that? Is there a bear down here? Oh. Who the fuck do they have chained up? <laughs> oh. Thank God he showed up. Kids suck. <laughs> they are a nightmare. Come on, our parents are worried. It's dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> home? What home? This is our time. Our last chance to see if there really is any rich stuff. Yeah, your last adventure. And the place is empty now. Yeah, come, come, come. Is it? Did they all leave? Maybe just two of them. Sorry about your face. Oh, don't worry about it. I was born with it. <laughs> Tilt in the mirror so he could look down my shirt. So I elbowed his lip. Slot. Thank God! <laughs> you know, I got some naked pictures of your mom. Nice! They just use him <laughs> to just break things. Jeez. Oh my God. It jumped out from the bushes. It almost killed us. <laughs> Give him a few minutes. As long as you stay here with me. Okay. Wait, quiet! Listen to her. She knows what she's talking about. <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. Don't worry. It's chained the wall. Is he still? Oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. I thought they fell somewhere far. <laughs> yes. Shame, shame. Know your name. <laughs> Still nothing. Water. No, dude. Um, that looks more clear yeah. than <laughs> it did look like water. Why don't we just pour chocolate all over the floor and let Chunk eat his way through? <laughs> and I can't stand no more. I got it. I got it. You for sure don't. I don't got it. You clutch. But where's the water pooling to? Yeah, what is happening? I can feel the air. There's got something down there. What are you doing, data or data? It's the start of the tunnel. Making progress. Oh. Money? Oh shit, printing money? $50 bill. $50, $50 bill. bill. We have the money to save you. Oh, I knew these people oh, were people. I said that there was going to be trouble, but you didn't listen to me. There's a funny farm that has your name written on. Don't go off by yourself. I smell ice cream. And they got chocolate eruption. Oh, and they got grape. What else is in there? And super duper chocolate eruption. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're only gonna have one way to go soon enough. Get in that tunnel. Pizza. Pizza does sound great. Come on. Bunch of hotheads. We can go back. Oh, poor chunk. Fireplace brand is the only way out. It all starts here. Are they gonna get him out of the freezer? <laughs> yeah, he's still in there. Help! Help! Guys! Come on! Man, they really just totally forgot about this guy. Somebody's been here. The cooler is broken. I'm leaving. Go check your brother. Oh. I'll show you a trevor. He better not have broken those chains again. I'm not going back to their zoo for another set. Their brother. The guy chained up is their brother? Yeah. You could have got yourself out the entire time. I'm doing some serious shit here. You gotta get the police. They're just sending him out? Oh, the window. Is he gonna miss the entire adventure? He could. Give him my drama glasses. I can't see a thing. Great, she's blind. Bullet blinders! Yeah. All right, get out! Oh, ow. Dang! Oh, 
Hey, hey, who is that? Oh, step. Blinding everyone. There's a light up ahead. Maybe we can get out that way. I'm not afraid of the dark. Man, he made it outside? Good job. The Fratellis, well, we found their hideout. I can describe all three of them. Oh, dude. Man, I wanted to give him props for getting outside, but he went straight to them. Oh no. Back with his friend. These places must really do a building or something. If we make enough noise. You're gonna rip this thing down. Oh, is it the country club? Oh, it's one eye Willie or whatever. <laughs> oh no, sorry, man. Was that the jerk from earlier? Oh, the car? <laughs> Let's get out of here! They just got a new path. Tell me where your other little friends are. In the fireplace. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I'll stop. It's third grade. I cheated on my... <laughs> I knocked my sister Randy down the stairs and I blamed it on the dog. <laughs> you said everything. I was looking down my shirt. Who cares? There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it's regretting this decision. <laughs> Andy. Andy. Andy, slow down. What use do I have before I get off the bat? Before I can look like him? Oh. One-eyed Willie? Or all the people he killed. All his, uh, sailors or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he is distracting them. Don't touch it, guys. Oh, it was a, a booty trap. He's dead for sure. I, I think he's the trusted cop. <laughs> he's dead for sure. The news article. Oh, you're right. If he didn't make it out, and he was the postman expert, what about us, guys? It is Chester Copperpot. Oh, See? God. I told you! That means they're on the right track, this. Yeah. Candle! Wait, oh. no! No! <laughs> That's dynamite! I'm setting booty traps in case of anybody's following us. Using dynamite? <laughs> Look at this. It looks like a skeleton. Oh, yeah, he had the key here or something, right? You see what I found? Oh! Uh-oh. What's that gonna drop? Well, there's no going back. Hello? Oh. Trapped in a small space with bats. <laughs> all the people started getting sick and throwing up all over oh, each other. No. I felt so bad in my entire life. You made a whole theater throw up? Now I want to play the violin. <laughs> Not my hand. Oh, the bats! Run! They're coming after you! By all means, come down here and get taken out by a booty trap. Boy, yes, we did it! Oh, they planted it for me! Oh, oh my rich stuff! Oh, those are pennies, right? Is this like a fountain? Martin Sheen. Martin, Martin Sheen. Sheen, that's President Kennedy, you idiot! <laughs> it must be the old Moss Garden wishing well. Stop, stop. You what? can't do this. Why? Why? Stealing wishes. They're somebody else's dreams. This was my dream, my wish. It didn't come true, so I'm taking it back. Come on, One-Eyed Willie. What does this have to do with the map? Put him in with your brother. Uh-oh. He was already screaming enough before. Ah, what's that, a Cracker Jack prize? Holy shit. Ma, this is a doubloon. Give it to me. See you, Garb. <laughs> How far you got with Andy? What'd you wish for? To make it with Andy. <laughs> oh! Andy! <laughs> is that you? We're stuck down here! Please send down the fuck in the rope! Wishes do come true. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he did wish for Andy. She's literally in the well. I ain't gonna go first, man. What are you kidding me? Go! Look how far we've come. We got a chance. Chance at what, Mikey? Getting killed? Death? Goonies never say die. Their time. Up there. It's our time down here. What a speech. Cap it off with an inhaler. <laughs> Just your jacket? You want a candy bar? You do now. Oh, 
Look, I got a baby root. Baby? Uh -huh. Oh. The baby Ruth is inspiration. Oh, he's pretty much free. Where's the dynamite? I think uh, Data still has it all. He didn't have time to plant any. Law. Chunk. Law. Chunk. He's so strong. <laughs> oh, Sherry. Triple stones. Triple stones. This must be copper bone. Oh, oops. <laughs> Triple stones. Don't. We got you now when I really. Triple stones. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Oh, no. What the hell is that? It's just like your front yard. God. Don't be dead. How strong are those teeth? I'm excited by my pictures of now. Kata, you gotta get the hell out of there. Come on, Sheriff. I want to report. Oh, murder. Say you again, Lawrence. Rocky Road? <laughs> yeah. You told me about the 50 Iranian terrorists. God damn it, Chunk. No one believes him. Just like that last prank about all those little creatures that multiply when you throw water on them. <laughs> the gremlins? Yeah. Lawrence? Maybe that would be enough? He break. Who's gotta go? Me. Me. Man, how'd they get that? <laughs> did they go down or? They must have gone a different way. And how did he get his arm out? I, I think it just came out. Mm. What's going on up there? <laughs> immediate response. Ryan! We'll see what she's ragging about, will ya? Hurry, I'm in here with my eyes closed. Oh my god. <laughs> Does Ram wear braces? Steph, it was beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, a little child. Be careful around here. There's a hole, I think. I think Bran was standing in it. You so short. They're kind of close. Yeah. I mean, they don't need to worry about any traps because they're setting them all off. What are you crazy? They're here. <laughs> you just screamed. <laughs> yeah, but she can't scream. Oh, whoa. Jerko! Sounds like an animal. Oh, I got a great idea, you guys! Slick shoes! Oh! Hi, oh. oh. <laughs> hey, fellas! Remember me? <laughs> no, oh! You gonna start a tank again? Hey, man, what the hell do you think that was? Hurry up. Going down. Oh! That was impressive. Holding dynamite. <laughs> Play the tune as each note is said. Maybe they did light candles and they just showed the dynamite for a second. Or maybe there was just a stick of dynamite in with all of the candles. Yeah. You guys look! They have their notes on this! Oh! Go on, Eddie. Whoa! A skeleton organ. Wrong note. They come, guys! The down there! They're coming real quick. They're right there. I believe in you. Cooties always make mistakes. <laughs> Don't make them anymore. <laughs> they were gone! They're gone! They're not here! Right there! <laughs> oh! Took them both out. Yeah, start over again. Oh, no! 
But now they can't get across, right? Or if it's a big flat, <laughs> she gets one no or be flat. Trust your gut. There you go, Andy. Out you go. Gotta be got him here. Let's go. Nice. This is so cool. Was that the final step of this map? I don't know. It was on the back. That's true. Oh my god. Is this the treasure? Oh wow. Damn. They found the boat. Ship. What a crazy set. Follow me. Need to pull up the ladder now. Surprised he still has that thing. You really think there's a treasure here? Andy, this whole ship's a treasure. It's just a skeleton. Oh, daggers in the eyes? Damn, he's always falling. Here. Oh. oh, it says something. I'm not gonna read it. Like the Evil Dead. <laughs> What's up there? It's all right, Brandon. Just give me a second. Lots of stuff in here. Yeah. There you are. I made it. I beat you. Got here in one piece. So far. We had a lot in common, huh, Willie? You're the first Goonie. First Goonie? This is Willie. Those are my friends. The Goonies. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough, Mikey. <laughs> no, you're crazy. Dang. Hey, come on, you guys, hurry up. Those creeps still after us. That's right, what are we gonna do? Who cares? <laughs> you're rich. And when the Fratelli's going to that cave, then we can make a run for it. Now that's out. Oh, they're already here. This is war. Get it, don't, no, don't get it. Get it. Get it. ready to fight. Get it, just on hand. Let me help you, brother. Let me help you. Straight into the gun. You're the one they call a mouse, aren't you? <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. She's already wearing pearls. Say goodbye to your little friend. Goodbye. Go join your friends, you wiggles. Are you <laughs> Just like the movie. <laughs> what about all the treasure? I know. Oh, it's decked her. Superman! <laughs> We're in deep shit now, Francis. Yeah, he's not chained up. And we spent the money on Francis is to pay! I don't wear a hairpiece! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> she thinks they already kissed. <laughs> right. You <laughs> made out with his little brother. Ben, what happened to your braces? Mikey, that little sh Come to mama, baby. Come on. Beat your mom up. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, uh, I only dropped you once. What? <laughs> Everyone's cheering. <laughs> What's his name? Slaw? Come back for it later. All that rich. Come on! <laughs> mama, just let us down easy, Ma. Nice and easy. You all right? Yeah, you? Yeah. A little. Thank you. You've made my day. You take Willie's gold. Uh oh. Movie cop, did you see the movie? Raven, let's get out of here. There's been a cave in here before. Maybe we can get through. Oh, the last candle. It is dynamite. Hey, this is a funny candle. It's sparkling. It's not a candle, it's hey, dynamite. Hey. <laughs> oh. 
Damn. Whole place is caving in. Here you go, man. Superman. <laughs> oh, raise an anchor? They're trapped in here. Oh, I guess not. Well, I'll be damned. It's them goobers. Go Goonies. I guess we're kind of in deep. Pizza. I lost my glasses. You know, your voice is kind of nice when your mouth isn't screwing it up. Your looks are kind of pretty. <laughs> Keep kissing girls the way you do. The parts of you don't work so good, they're going to catch up to the ones that do. What? <laughs> <laughs> what parts? Yeah, what parts are you talking about? His lungs or his penis? Oh, he got him out? No, don't attack the cops. Get out you want to lose your job? Sloth. Sloth. Oh, I love you, Sloth. Today's the day, so let's get this over with. Where's the ship? You and Brand are home safe with your mom and me. That makes us the richest people in Astoria. You're looking at the richest people in Astoria. Jeez, really? Oh. No pen? No pen? No what? No right? No pen man. Don't sign. Alright, fellas, that's enough. Don't Telling more stories, Lawrence. <laughs> oh, is it coming out? Mary Mother of God. Back to sea. All right, that was the Goonies. What'd you think? That was great. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. I guess when I saw Sloth for the first time and just some of the like booby traps and things that were happening, I don't know, I guess I was anticipating more on the fantasy side. I am the same for sure. Like I thought maybe like the pirates one-eyed willy or something would like still be alive or something like that or i don't know i definitely thought that there would be more like magic or some sort of fantasy elements but the way that it ended i feel like i do like that more the fact that like no it, it really was just a pirate ship and yeah. everyone was dead and he just had everything set up for it to unfold the way that it did and there wasn't really any like supernatural element really to the movie no i was gonna say exactly the same though that i'm glad that there wasn't yeah i feel like between data and just everything set up by one-eyed willie the elements of all the like booby traps and just the caves and getting through that like it was such a fun adventure to watch and I mean, the cast was very large, like for us to be following the entire time. That was another thing that I was like surprised about. Like with Stand By Me, you were pretty much just following like the four kids. Yep. Just as much as I was shocked that there wasn't like this fantasy side to it, I was shocked that like it was the four Goonies, right? Four plus the brother. Plus the two girls. Yeah. And then you had like the three criminals chasing. Like, yeah. There was a lot of people in this movie. Yeah, no, there was a ton. And I feel like each of them brought something unique to the movie. We talked about in the very beginning, we loved like the brother relationship. Yeah. I think it was great. And I'm glad I got a little bit worried that the brother brand, I think, wasn't gonna be around when they essentially like got rid of his bike. When they, or he went off a cliff also. <laughs> it was before that though. I thought it was like just gonna be the four of them. Yeah. Uh, but everyone kind of got to add on and they all just had very different personalities, different strengths going through. Um, I mean, they wouldn't have been able to do half the stuff without Data's stuff. Yeah, Data's stuff was huge. Yeah. A chunk, like his clumsiness 
That was useful so many times. And they like knew how to use it, which <laughs> yeah. was awesome. Yeah, Mouth was like a, a great kind of like instigator or something like of the group. Mikey was like your, I guess, leader, but also like the very hopeful and optimistic, you know? They wouldn't have done the adventure without him. No, not at all. And then like Brand was like a good, just older brother who yeah. came in clutch a bunch of times. Andy playing like the music and stuff. Yeah, like you said, everyone played a role. Everyone had a, a unique personality. They all kind of gelled in a way that allowed them to accomplish this adventure. And honestly, a way bigger cast than I thought. Like I thought we were just gonna be following maybe a couple of kids, yeah. not like this whole giant adventure involving tons of people. Yeah, and it was really cool to see Corey Feldman again. He was fantastic in Stand By Me. Yeah. So it was cool to see him again, another like, kid movie. Yeah, Stand By Me felt like a little bit more of like a coming of age yeah. story. We are going to be watching Indiana Jones soon enough on the channel. We've only seen the fourth one, which is like, I believe universally hated. I had a great time watching it in theaters, but- <laughs> I just saw it on TV. Okay. So we've only seen the fourth one, but I know enough about Indiana Jones to feel like this is like the kid version of Indiana Jones. Yeah, I so I've been obviously on the ride like a good amount of times. Right, yeah. When all those things started kind of falling and then they had like, I don't know, a bowling ball or whatever like rolling through, it felt like that, like right. the ride. Right, yes. And I mean, this comes from Steven Spielberg technically kind of, which so is Indiana Jones. So it just had that vibe of just this very fun adventure because also this movie, it felt so fast. Like I feel like I could, I never had a break. No. Like it started at 11 out of 10 and it finished at 11. Like there was never really a pause or anything. No. There was so much screaming and chaos. And <laughs> there kids, was a lot of yelling. Tons of yelling from everyone. Every character's yelling. Every character's stumbling around and falling through things. Like it just feels like such a fun adventure. I wish I saw this when I was a kid because yeah. I had fun with this now, but I'm like, man, if I would have seen this when I was like 10, 11 years old, you know? Might have been dangerous. And it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you would get ideas to like make some crazy contraption to fall down the stairs or something. But it had the elements of like a story that just like a kid would love. Like mm -hmm. the fun adventure, doing something with your friends. Obviously it throws in that like pretty sus situation with the kid getting to kiss like the older beautiful <laughs> girl and stuff. Like it was a ton of fun as an adult to watch it. Yeah. But man, I, I, I feel like I missed something in my childhood, not experiencing this when I was younger. I could see that. Honestly, I was a little bit worried right in the very beginning in the jail. I was like, this is a kid's movie. <laughs> it is pretty aggressive kid. I mean, there's dead bodies, there's cursing. Yeah. It is pretty intense for a kid's movie. I don't know what the rating of this is. I assume it's probably like PG. I mean, Gremlins, Gremlins was hardcore too. I mean- like, I love that they, <laughs> they mentioned Gremlins. They, yeah, they referenced Gremlins. And even in that movie, like half the town literally dies. Yeah. So, you know, kids movies back in the day, you could do a hell of a lot more. The eighties kids are tough. Yeah, exactly. So it's just so easy to see how this was such an insanely popular movie for the time. For kids to like grow up watching this. Oh yeah. It was great to see Joey Pants back. I mean, I feel like he's always great. Yeah. And the hair thing always kills me. <laughs> <laughs> they did something similar to Sopranos too, right? Like when he's dead, they take the head off or the hair off. Um, spoiler alert. Spoiler, sorry. <laughs> uh, also, man, I wish there was more with uh, Rosalita. That might've been one of my favorite parts of this movie <laughs> for as, as many great moments as there are. Just Corey Feldman fucking with her in Spanish. That was so funny. Because at first I was like, where did he learn his Spanish from? And then I realized, oh no, he knew exactly what he was saying. <laughs> yeah. It was great to have the uh, introduction of Sloth as like, oh man, what is this? What's going on and stuff. And the fact that he teamed up with Chunk to kind of save the day in yeah. the end. No, I loved it. And I love that he got to reference the movie that he was watching. Yeah. And, you know, he obviously cared about his family. He went back to save them. Yeah. And everything. But I love that he got Chunk out of this. Right. And I, that's another thing that I like too. It's not like, you know, the bad guys ended up trapped in the cave or something like, yeah, I mean, they're in prison stuff. But for the most part, like you said, Sloth still saved his family and got out of there. and. It, it is a relatively happy ending for literally everyone. I mean, yeah. they got just enough diamonds or rubies or whatever, gems or whatever it was to save the town, I guess, or at least 
Mikey's family is, is fine. It's like his house in the middle of a golf course. If I'm Rosalita, I'm not saying a word. I'm <laughs> gone. I'm gone with all of those. Oh, no. Rosalita's <laughs> a better person than you. For sure she is. Yeah, because I would have left. No one would have noticed if I was gone. So, But yeah, I mean, this is stuff that like kids dream of. Of like, oh my God, I wish I could find a treasure map and find this treasure and go on this adventure. And so it is just like straight out of the dream of a child put on screen. And it's just, it was a ton of fun. And it's, yeah, it was so well done. And I love that it was like referencing like their last night together. So it was a big moment for them. Yeah. Um, to be sharing this adventure and then for it to turn out so good that the treasure's real. All of this is happening. They found this. And for them to actually have nailed the funds to save however much they can save. Oh yeah, hopefully a ton. I thought that was great. And there was a lot of great moments in this too that um, I don't want to say necessarily came out of nowhere, but I'm like, this hits a lot harder than you'd think for this type of movie. Like when uh, Sean Astin, Mikey's kind of giving his speech of like, it's their time up there and it's our time down here. Like Goonies never die. I feel like when, uh, I'm going to butcher his name again, uh, Ki, Ki Hui Kwan won the Oscar or something like that. I think he said Goonies never die, like oh. in his acceptance speech and stuff. Uh, I mean, another great moment was when they're like messing around with the inventions at the end. Yeah, Data and his dad. Yeah, Data and his dad. And his dad just be like, you're my best invention. I was like, oh. <laughs> right in the field. Damn, like that, what a, what a perfect line at the end of the movie. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, this is fun. I mean, this is definitely something that I would introduce to the younger generation like over and over and over on repeat because this is easily a classic. Yeah, super creative. Obviously, Steven Spielberg. And Richard Donner, I believe. Yeah, so just expertly crafted film. All-star cast. It was so good. And that set at the end, I mean, you commented on it. I mean, that looked like such an awesome set. Yeah, I can't even imagine like how giant that was. Because it, it felt real. Like yeah. it felt like they probably had this big to scale pirate ship and yeah. you know, the water filled up because the way that they shot it too, it's like even when they were on the boat and you could see in the background, like all of them like cheering on and stuff. So it's like, it, it just felt like it must've been such an awesome experience to make this movie. Yeah. Um, and that's probably why it stuck with all of the cast in this to this day. Yeah. Uh, and it's also crazy to think like, man, Sean Astin, huge Lord of the Rings, obviously Josh Brolin still crushing it to this day. I mean, so many of these people have gone on to do crazy things. So it's insane to see what I assume is the origin for a lot of these people. Mm -hmm. So this was a ton of fun. Uh, yeah, I love this. I'm really glad that we watched it. So thanks to everyone that recommended this to us. This was fantastic. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.